for more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com. Hello, and welcome to our series on using Adobe Dreamweaver CS5. In the beginning of the preceding video, we showed you how to create hyperlinks from one page to another in your website. You'll see here are our homepage company services about and contact information links. In this video, we want to see how to create two more styles of links. We're going to see how to create a link to a PDF document, which is exactly the same process as we went through before. And we're also going to see how to make an email link. So to begin with, I've gone ahead and I've copied a PDF document into my website. And you'll see that right here. One thing that people oftentimes forget is to make sure that PDF documents, when they're uploaded to your site, are named correctly. And that means no symbols, no spaces, and no uppercase letters. Only lowercase letters, numbers, dashes, and underscores. So I've added the PDF form to my local site just by copying it or dragging it over there. And then I'm going to come here to the text that I want to make the link and I'm going to highlight it. I'm then going to come down to the link box and I'm going to click Browse for File. There's my HR form, so I'll select that and then I'm going to click OK. And the link has now been created between this web page and the PDF document. If I highlight that, you're going to actually see the name of the document along with the path that the link is going to. Now, by default, whenever you create a hyperlink, that link is always going to open up in the same window as the page with the link. And you've seen that before. When you click on a link on a web page, it just closes that one page and opens the other page in the exact same window. But there's sometimes when we don't want that to happen we may want to click on a link and have an entirely new window open. And that's especially true with PDF documents. Very often you want your PDF document to open in a completely different window and leave your web page open. And that's very easy to do. I've actually gone ahead and highlighted this text and I see the link down there. You're going to see this property called Target. What we want to do is we want to click the drop down arrow to the right of Target and you're going to see some options there. If you want a link to open its contents in a completely new window, you're going to select blank. In other words, this link should open up in a blank page. Now we want to go ahead and we want to create a link that will open up an email window and allow our customers to email us. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight email us for more information. Now, if I click the little yellow folder icon here, I come to the file system, but there's nothing in here related to the email address that I wish to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click in the link box here. And to begin a link that will open up an email window as opposed to a web page, you begin by typing mail to, M-A-I-L-T-O, and then a colon. Now you're going to type the email address you wish that particular link to connect to. So I'm going to go ahead and type create at createtheweb.com. And I'll hit enter. And you'll see there's my link. And whenever anybody clicks on that link, it's going to open up an email window instead of a web page. And it's going to address that email automatically to the location you specified. In this case, create at createtheweb.com. So there's two more styles of working with hyperlinks. And also we learned how you can make any link open in a new window by setting the target frame to blank. For more great videos and learning tutorials, or to download the exercises that go with these videos, please visit our website at www.createthenet.com. That was www.createthenet.com.